Howdy, howdy. Hey, it's Brian, and welcome back to BG Model Workshop. We're doing a final on our Monogram 1965 Corvette Street Machine that we are building for our friends over at CD uh, Scale Models, Chris and Mr. Frank over at uh, Frizzo's Models. They were hosting a TV slash movie car group build. Uh, the, the, uh, the entry was supposed to be something from... TV show of the 70s and 80s, which was an inspired idea. It's a very clever idea. So it could be a car from any time, but it had to be from a TV show or movie from the 70s or 80s, and I thought that was awesome. I believe Frank did the uh, the car from Greece, and then uh, Chris did the Camaro from uh, Better Off Dead. Uh, both very, very good builds, gentlemen. Uh, excellent idea. Thank you for, for doing this, by the way. It, it, it helps me dig into my stash and look for something to build and uh, this was the guy we wanted to do because we were doing this for the TV show Stingray uh, which will, you'll have seen on the thumbnail and uh, we wanted to do this up as that particular car. I remember watching the pilot episode as a kid thinking, oh man, this is going to be awesome and then I tuned in next week to watch the next episode and thought nah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> I'll stick with my Knight Rider and my A-Team and my Duke's Hazard. So, uh, yeah, he was international man of mystery. Didn't have really, you know, a job or something. I don't know. What's it say here? Identity unknown. Occupation unknown. I mean, nowadays, that's kind of a... That's kind of a... It's like something for Tinder, almost. But, uh, yeah, um, we decided to go ahead and do this car here. This is a... Here's a box flap from the kit. <laughs> Pretty close to the box flap, eh? Uh... The car does seem like it is lowered. Uh, the suspension um, is dropped down a bit. Most uh, vets that we see from this particular era, it looks like the uh, actually sits either level or with the nose a little high. But um, yeah, um, this kit, the tires that came with it look like they're right off of a truck kit. I didn't like how they look, so we went parts box digging and came up with some generic tires. They are a little bit smaller in diameter, so it does have a bit of a lower stance and a little bit more of a rake to it. I don't mind. I kind of like it. Gives it more of that street machine flavor, right? Oh, here's another box flap. i got to share this with you guys. Oh, there we go. Uh, the Black Rat. This is the Black Rat edition of this kit. The Black Rat. It means it's vicious. It's a street machine version of the ever-popular 65 Corvette. The Black Rat is loaded with performance equipment. Big block Chevy engine complete with side pipes. Let's just pause right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. No side pipes. <laughs> uh, simulated alloy wheels with radial GT tires. And it's packed into 7 and 3 sixths. 3 sixths. <laughs> we can't round that down anymore, huh? Couldn't, couldn't make that 1 12th. But, uh, yeah, 18.3 centimeters. And a 124 scale model. It's molded in black with transparent and plated parts and black graphics which went directly into the into the uh, decal bin because they they're, they're not that great uh well decal sheet can be painted blah 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 paint and cement tastes good so um that's the kit there but seven and three thirty sixths <laughs> that's that's gonna be my new thing now but uh yeah uh untold math uh we had done this guy up in um Tamiya TS-14 gloss black and we were having uh, a devil of a time with it because over the driver's side roof we we're having some sort of horrible issue with uh, the paint not wanting to lay down correctly. I mean it was like kind of like allergate, allergator, alligator. It was uh, crocodiling a little bit and uh, we uh, started to look like a handbag up there so we, we sanded it down to, to bare plastic reprimed it resprayed it same issue did it again got a little bit better and then I went to my friends uh, John and James from um, scale model experiment they have a lot of, uh, of experience with 2k clear and I asked them well 2k clear you know, basically the paint job was beautiful enough to where I could have left it just as the raw paint. But I asked them, will 2K Clear help cover this up? And they were like, oh yeah, 2K Clear basically won't care about if the paint is kind of alligator, cro crocodiled, if it was crocodiled. So um, I, I thought, okay, we'll give it a shot. You know, I've always wanted to do 2K over just plain old Tamiya and see how it looks. And, um, well, you can see it looks... Pretty damn spiffy. Uh, it did cover up the, the issues on the roof there pretty well. Uh, there is a little booger in the paint, but um, compared to how it looked before, I don't mind. Um, we did the window trim in Silver Sharpie. 
uh, and we did borrow a trick from uh, Boyd over at uh, Trekworks. Uh, once in a while when he does the car, he talks about doing the, the window trim in Sharpie and then sealing it with some of this stuff here, all clad too. Uh, this is the Aqua Gloss Clear, and I got it from my store for $9.25, and it probably lasts me the rest of my life because I just poured that into a, um, a little bottle cap and then brush, brushed it on with a very fine brush and gave it a little bit of a gloss. It seals it. Uh, it blends in well with the uh, 2K clear. It's already on there, so we don't have to worry about that looking like, you know, you put on nail varnish or something like that. So it looks awesome. Yeah, okay, $9.25 is a little bit of an investment, right? Okay, but you saw how big that is. That is. It's going to last me literally the rest of my life. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> So back here on the rear quarter panel, we had a heartbreaking experience, and I'm going to add that in, a photo of that right here. So yeah, ain't that some crap right there? Uh, that just, I don't know. My, my only response to, to seeing that was just drawing in my breath and uh, just being like, <laughs> James and John are really good they are like hey listen you know just let it set let the glue harden up and then uh, like overnight and then go after it with some sanding pads and we did we did uh, James to give me a while ago some some cool stuff here it says it's a god hand tool uh, I think that might be a Gundam thing but we did we started off with a 6,000 went up to 8,000 and then up to 10,000 and uh, at that point, we went after it with some um, some fine uh, Tamiya polish. And the uh, mop head on the Dremel, this is what, what I mean by the mop head. It looks like a Muppet. Like that there. It looks like me in the morning when I wake up. But, uh, yeah, after that, uh, you, you guys can see the results came out absolutely beautiful. I just, I was just so happy that it came out because I'm like, you know, if I can't get that out, I have to strip everything and start all over again um, with with the uh, base color issues that we had. I didn't, it just I was like it was going to be a game changer. It was going to be a, it was going to be a game over right there. So uh, yeah, I appreciate the uh, the support and the um, and the and the and the advice that my friend James and John were able to give me uh, for doing that particular technique, and they talked me through it. So it was it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah. It, I, I just love how the car turned out. It was a, it was actually a very easy build. The only issues we had were paint issues and then that super glue mishap. And I think that's mostly because I have old super glue and it is being taken care of as we speak. We're throwing that away. So um, as a matter of fact, let's just there we go. There it goes. So I don't forget. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, the the car is just a beautiful build. Uh, I love how the uh, the 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 lines pick up the light. I mean, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Okay, so again, thanks to uh, Chris over at CD Scale Models and to Frank over at Frizzos Models for hosting. Um, I hope those guys do it again next year and uh, count me in. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in yet again, and we'll uh, talk to you a little bit later on. Bye now.